so I am coming out of the insufficiently lit shadows of my porch to show you my first go at smoking a Kisseru pipe. This is my pipe. Beautiful little thing. And I'm going to have a go at smoking it. I watched an instructional video, which, bizarrely enough, the uh, friend who bought this for me lives in Greenville now. He visited another friend of his in Japan, and uh, he's the one who bought me this pipe, the, the friend who lives in Greenville now. Um, brought it back. When I looked up on YouTube how to smoke a Kusaru pipe, the guy in Japan was the guy who had done the instructional video. So, it's a small world. I'm going to go for it. Apparently there's a there's an etiquette to smoking this. This is as there is to smoking a western pipe. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to hold this in my mouth without any tobacco in it, but I'm just going to roll. Here's my tobacco. I opened it up and I was quite surprised, uh, but then comforted when I saw in the uh, on the on the other video, the structural video. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. So open, open. The tobacco is like shag like, uh, for tobacco to roll up for cigarettes, but even finer. It's like these little tiny hairs. Pretty astounding. I mean, it, it's super fine. I really... There's no way this you know, my webcam is going to capture that, but super, super fine. All right, so I gotta pull some out. Pull a little bit out, and it's gonna be hard for me, I'm sure, to determine how much is the right amount. But you know, you don't want to put in too little, I guess. And then massage the tobacco was the word on the street. Massage the tobacco into a ball. I don't think I can get it to the camera and massage it. Okay. I left a fine little dust. We'll see about that. I think my little tobacco pellet is too small. We'll see. You know what I'm going to do? Just between us. This is my first time. I'm going to add a little more to the top. And this stuff is incredibly fine. If you guys have had a, an experience smoking Kisaro pipes, or if you own one, I'd love to hear about it. Alright, so, there we have it. Let's light it up and see if we have any success. One of the best things about this is that uh, it clearly looks like I'm smoking something illegal. Wow. So you're supposed to smoke this slowly and delicately. Ooh. <laughs> I've already had four four puffs. Wow, that last one was amazing. A very subtle flavor. The video I watched, the guy described the smell as me that, that of hay. Hey. It's um <coughs> You know, some some tobaccos get described as being kind of uh campfire. It's a little like that, but, but very light, super light. I'm also finding that, uh, like smoking hookah, the smoke uh, is kind of lingering in my mouth. Huh. Well, I'm a huge fan. Thank you.
the next thing I have to discover is if wifey will tolerate this occasionally indoors. I am so tempted to tamp it down right now. But I think I think my smoke is just kinda ending. Hmm. I think I might be done. I'm gonna knock it out. Alright, so I might be committing a huge faux pas. It's not coming out. Not coming out. So perhaps it's not done smoking. I'm going to try to light it again. Now I feel like I should have watched part two of this guy's videos. Yeah, tobacco was done. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to find out how to clean it. Oh, there it goes. Cool. All right, that was my first Kisera smoke. Five minute video. I suppose two minutes of it were spent smoking. Pretty fun. And uh, I'm just gonna roll another one up. Roll. That's uh, probably not the best verb to choose. Rick, thanks, dude. This is awesome. Um, and then the guy, the guy in Japan, gave me some of his personal blend regular tobacco, regular pipe tobacco. Uh, so I'll be smoking some of that and reviewing it as well. Peace be upon you.